the Elder Scrolls. Today we'll be reading The Light and the Dark by oh I forgot the name. Hang on. By Eric Undjerj. And I totally just lost my place. Oh, it's fine, there it is. Let's begin. Yes, children, it is no accident that this land of Tamriel has been called the Arena. The old man altered his position on the large rock that bore his weight and straightened his long grey robe. Rumi's eyes... Wait, wait, no, wait. Rumi... Eyes... What, what, what? Wait, that's an adjective? R-H-E-U-M-Y? I gotta check this. Hang on. Okay. Roomy means full of room. <laughs> or uh, watery. So I guess teary eyes, I guess. Sure. Roomy eyes lost their focus. As they gazed o out over the sun-warmed valley in the mountains of High Rock, for a moment he saw a vision. Who is he? A vision of ancient horrors instead of the fresh greenery of spring. A chill washed over his aged bones. Is this a suitable topic for the young and innocent? He asked himself. The young must be taught, but they must l they must learn of such things now. Wait, but must they learn of such things now, when they should be playing in the sunlight? This is a tale of for the dreary winter, with the wind howling outside a walled town, and the doors and windows closed and bolted against the blast and cold and other things. He glanced with affection at his two grandchildren, the two tow-headed boy. Oh, wait, why did I say two? I don't know. Well, he's got two grandchildren. Right. The little tow-headed boy with a hint of mischief dancing in his eyes, even on those rare occasions when sitting quietly. And his older sister, a serene lass, the man, the old man thought, her hair like a dark flame, and her slightly pointed ears were the only obvious signs of elven blood. So, like her grandmother, the old man thought. Oh, so like her grandmother, the old man thought. The past is past, and Ishvia had brought him so much peace and happiness after a lifetime of battle. He forced his thoughts back to the present. Sorry, children. I was remembering things. Old people do that, you know. Are you going to tell us the story of y Yagathan and the Emperor and the Eternal Champion? His grandson asked. That's my favorite. Not exactly, son. They were a part of it, in a way. As are Eric and Moridan and Edward, and Raymond, and many others. Even the gods play a part. This is a far older story, and even the priests won't tell it my way. They have their own interpretations, and their fears as well. I'm too old, and I've seen too much to have any fear left, except that our people will forget, and forgetting is dangerous. So I, and a few others, carry this tale and try to spread it among the younger generations. You aren't really old enough to understand it all, but I can feel that my end is not far off. I must ask you to remember anyway. In a few years, perhaps, if I still live, we can discuss it again. If not, well, you must seek out others who know and compare notes. You talk as if you're going to die, Grandfather, his granddaughter spoke. That can't happen. You'll live forever. 
chuckling. I'm afraid not, dear. But I have a little while left. Enough for the story. The children settled back against the bowl of a large oak. Hmm. Just the trunk, I guess? Or maybe like a, like a, like a fallen over tree or something. Knowing, you mean like a log? Yeah. Knowing that the old man could not be hurried. Leaning forward, he began. Long, long ago, before there were any people at all, even before the gods, Tamriel was chosen as a battleground by two things. It is difficult to find words that fit them well. Bird and serpent, order and chaos, none of these names really apply. It suffices that they are opposites, and totally anti antithetical. Hmm. Neither is really good or evil, as we know the words. They are immortal. Since they do not, gods and their daedric enemies are pale reflections of the eternal conflict between them. It's as though their struggle creates energies that distort their surroundings. And those energies are so powerful that life can appear, like an eddy in a stream. Do demons and trolls come from the dark, Grandpa? Not exactly, son. The undead evils, we know, and the demons that live on oblivion, tend to align with the dark. Their natures are more akin to it. Humans and the other peoples of Tamriel, even the myth was almost wholly aligned with the dark. And that is really why he was so monstrous. It was not because he was a black mage, as some would have it. The girl's interest was piqued. My mention of magic show itself, thought the old man. No magic power comes directly from the energy swirling about, and all mixed up magic is more a matter of intent than effect. The Major's Guild holds that a fireball, say, directed against a creature intent on causing harm, is not black magic, but the same spell directed at one seeking peace is. In this, they are right. Des destruction of a fire daedra strengthens the light and weakens the dark just a little. In the same manner, destruction of a unicorn strengthens the with apprehension. He adored those of Tamriel's pantheon and the heroes who served the old man but that's Luke. Hang on. I've got this thing in there. I've got this thing in there. Look, the the what race they are had a system of myths that they believed in for a thousand years. The people of Ad Atta mm, believed that if you believe in two but sinus, because room is, yeah, well, at least in two. Although it's, I have a theory that that the idea of room is being made manifest in Sona two actually applies for all part of the energy, the structure. I'm gonna look that shit up later. That created the gods of Tamriel. No one really knows since it was so no longer matters. The gods have their own existence now, and mostly aligned with the light. Except for a few who are, shall we say, a little ambiguous. Why do we have... Hmm. I know you mean grandfather, but I've never have actually heard that word in my entire life. What is the danger? It looks quite large. For more, for mere mortals like us, like are evenly matched, and perhaps will never resolve their conflict. More times can perceive traces of them. So the so the gods who are people from Aetherius are not they're kind of like the gods of uh, Dark Souls. They're they're not they're not just people, they're not just humans, but they're not gods per se. It's it's, it's, it's unclear. Um but then again, I suppose when you think about it, the Greek gods and the Roman gods are kinda of like that too. Because in all the the stories, like, you know, the Greek gods and whatever, they have human qualities. 
more so than say um like more mon- mon- monolithic monolithic you know what i mean gods of, of current say uh christianity or, or muslim or whatever um hmm. anyway buddhism buddhism is kind of like that because like the buddha is actually just a guy who is uh, an avatar granted but he's just a guy and there's like a bunch of buddha yeah that's i, I looked into that a while ago it's really confusing there's like there's there's a bunch of because i remember i was i was watching um uh what uh azure's wrath and i was like you know i don't really know about all this like cool mythology stuff and uh, i looked into it and i'm like oh wow there's like tons of buddhas but the current buddha is like the buddha who's been the buddha for like thousands of years it's confusing but then he'll stop being buddha and then a new person will be but it's it's confusing as shit but let's move on where am i <laughs> therein lies the danger yes therein lies the danger to most of us, the light is mere con- con- congen- congenial, even inspiring, and moves moves us to behavior that would that we would call good. To creatures like us, the dark is horrible. Those who have visions of it are often driven mad, and the ones who are not would be better dead. Uh, the dark is to us a monstrous emptiness. An emptiness that sucks the soul towards it. To be twisted, maimed, and ultimately destroyed. What we can see of it seems utterly evil. Perhaps somewhere else this would not be so, but in our world it is. The old man paused to gather his thoughts, gazing once more at the fresh new life of spring. What we must do is never to forget that the dark out, that the dark, sorry, it's alright, slip of the tongue, almost racist, that the dark is always there, beckoning to the weak soul among us. Should it gain ascendancy over Tamriel, through agents perverted by its awful attraction, terrible things could happen. All that we hold beautiful or desirable, even love itself, would be swept away. Peace and hope would be no more. For Tamriel, that would be the worst possible disaster. What I say during Jagar's reign nearly... Well, what I saw during Jagar's reign nearly killed me. Almost destroyed But it was not. The forces of the dark are on the march again. And new heroes must rise to join the eternal champion in the fight against them. The old man and the two children sat in silence for several minutes. Children assisted their grandfather to his feet, and they walked slowly away towards home and hearth and lunch. Hmm, well, we want some lunch right now. So that was The Light and the Dark by Eric Unturge. That has been today's Elder Scrolls reading for today. When we come back tomorrow, we should arrive.